this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming into a gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. Want to appreciate all your information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the two way community. Like I said before, y'all the star people. I'm just a mess. I'm just the every citizen. Try and uphold the Constitution for the Second Amendment. So with that said, I appreciate y'all for coming over here. I appreciate y'all supporting your gun channels, your two-way channels. I appreciate y'all helping out the first-time buyer, the new people in the two-way community. Um, I appreciate y'all following me on Gun Stream and also on TikTok over there. We're doing a little something over there. And a huge shout-out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about concealed carry, people. Now, to my concealed carry is one of the fastest moving things right now in the headlines and stuff. You got a lot of states right now that are passing laws that are allowing constitutional carry. So we're gaining states on debt. Um, you know, it just, you know, so many people now, um, you know, just seeing, you know, how many things can get in the way of someone getting a concealed carry permit. Uh, to my, you know, you have a lot of places that, you know, they're doing online concealed carry um, courses and stuff because of the virus and stuff that we got to deal with. Um, you having some, you know, who stopped the online courses and, you know, are going back to the classroom stuff. A lot of states I've been seeing has done that. But all in all, people, constitutional carry is gaining momentum and steam and everything. Now, when it comes to concealed carry, people, uh, to my, it's a learning curve for everyone, especially when you're carrying a weapon all day long. I keep telling people. A lot of people think, yeah, you just get your host to put the gun on and put it on, but then they find out, guess what? They're not comfortable. One thing I learned in concealed carry, you know, um, doing concealed carry, people, you're not going to be 100% comfortable. I don't care how much you spend on the holster. You've got to do a whole lot of multiple things to make it comfortable. And, you know, you, you're going to know that the gun is on you. To my, you want to make it as comfortable as possible, buying your decent holster and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the number one thing you should be thinking about is protection, protecting yourself and stuff. So one thing... Um, you know, I see a lot of questions when it comes to concealed carry. It's a, it's a learning curve, people. There's a lot of things I do differently now when I conceal carry that I didn't do and I didn't think about and stuff like that. And one of them is buy you some longer shirts, buy you bigger pants and stuff like that. Um, it goes, you know, even with women and stuff, if you wear a dress, there are certain things you can do to conceal carry, bands, belly bands, all kinds of stuff that you can do and everything. But when it comes to pants and shirts like that, a lot of people you can get away with concealed carry better in the wintertime versus the summer and stuff like that. So a lot of people switching firearms and stuff. Me, I can conceal carry a pocket gun, full size gun and stuff up to my, because I dress around it. So it really doesn't matter the season, if it's hot or cold or winter, whatever the case would be. I dress around the firearm and I got a comfortable holster and stuff. That what works for me. It might take something else that's going to work for you. And another thing where you can still carry it is the ultimate surprise, people. The ultimate surprise and everything. You're in possession of it. Uh, to my, you know, you're not gonna be standing out and stuff. When I when I did I did an open carry test, you got people seeing you, looking at you, you get stares and stuff like that. Some people really don't notice and pay attention. You're gonna get a lot of that uh what I just said. But at the end of the day, you're being noticed because you're carrying a farm and stuff like that. But when you can conceal carry, you blend in, people. That is the ultimate surprise. You blend in with the public. Nobody knows you're carrying and stuff like that. And that's how it should be, the element of surprise. If anything happened, people, guess what? This is your pretty much your surprise moment. If someone is trying to end you, rob you, take your life, or, or whatever the case may be, hurt you, your family, the element of surprise. Now, I'm to my, you know, that's the way I look at it. Also, I'm to my, one thing that I learned as concealed carry, if, and people been, you know, I tell people this a long time ago. If you go into an establishment and stuff, always look for your exit. If you go sit in at restaurants, don't sit with your back turned at the exit. I always sit, I always like to face the exits and stuff like that. Um, you know, you want to sit where you can see stuff, see anything going on. Anytime you're going to anywhere, make sure you know where the exit and stuff at, people. You got to have this in your head. Uh, tomorrow, it's not that you, you know, you, you're going crazy about a whole lot of stuff, but in this time, you always got to have a plan. So anytime I go on somewhere, you have to have a plan. It amazed me a lot of people don't pay attention to exits and establishment and stuff. I watched this video a long time ago. Um, it was an incident that happened and stuff. Everybody's trying to go through the same door when there was three or four exit doors around them. Uh, to my, so a lot of people, their mindset, wherever they go in at, that's where they try to go out at. 
you have to reverse that mindset and look at something different when you're concealed carry. You're going to look at the whole thing that you do on a daily basis different people. Trust me. And a lot of you are brand new and y'all asking questions about concealed carry, especially on some of my old videos. But, you know, I don't care what gun you get. There's people who's not even comfortable with pocket guns. They just got so many guns until it's not even comfortable for them. You're going to have to dress around it, people. You're not going to be 100% comfortable. Uh, to my, you have manufacturers doing everything they possibly can. They're building phones around the magazine. They're doing everything, people. And at the end of the day, you're going to have to, guess what, dress around it. You're going to have to do a little something. I think dressing around it is a big, even bigger um, than just holsters, too, people, because getting a little bigger clothes and stuff like that and stuff will help you out a lot. It works for me and stuff. I'm a big guy and stuff. I'm not small. But dressing around it even makes it even better for me. So that is some of the things that you need to do. But when it comes to concealed carry people, and you'll stop a whole lot of things from happening. I'm to my, I talked about on my previous video, a video, a video, a couple videos back, where a guy was open carrying his farm was taken. He was spotted out by criminals, and they went in and took his farm, people. That's another thing. I see a lot of people who open carrying and stuff, and when you don't have training and all this kind of stuff, people, uh, to my a lot of people think it was so easy. I have friends, they buy a farm and they open carry, but they're not thinking about protecting their farm and never thought about it. And uh, when I start asking them questions, it's something that never came around their head or never thought about. You think because you're carrying a farm, nobody's going to test you, people, you better think wrong. A lot of farms right now have been stolen off people. They've been robbed, pickpocketing and stuff like that. So um, to my, that's something you got to think about as when you open carry. I, I have nothing against open carry, but I just think concealed carry is the ultimate surprise and when you have states are doing constitutional carry and stuff that you can carry concealed and stuff like that i think that's great i'm talking about because if you're in possession of it nobody knows you're carrying that's less you have to worry about when you're open carry you got your phone open people that is a whole nother ball game i'm talking about you have to worry about people around you you're in large crowds and stuff i'm talking about a lot of things can happen people and you know the video i showed uh, I show a little video right here, but the video I show shows people, it open your eyes what can happen and stuff like that. And I know a lot of people say, well, it ain't going to happen to me. This ain't going to happen to me. You never know, people. You never know. Don't get too cocky when you're carrying a farm, people, because like I said before, a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can happen. I've seen a lot of videos, a lot of stuff that's happened as people can still carry and stuff. Even though you're open carrying, guess what? Don't mean you have you get the quick access to your farm police officers have been ambushed been shot and stuff and they open carry and they got one in the chamber they're ready to go at all times so uh, to my like i said before i think conceal has the upper hand because at least you're not considered as a threat right off the gate you have a chance to pretty much to, to, to have that element of surprise but when you take the element of surprise out of the, out of the equation people when you're concealed carrying i think it get a little bit difficult for you and everything uh, to my because a lot of situations i looked at um, when someone knows you're a farm, you become the target before anybody. Uh, to my, that's the way it seems to been going and stuff like that. But I have no problem with open carry. You know, I open carry if I'm on my property and stuff like that, around the house, stuff like that. But I think out in public, uh, to my, you got to look at a lot of options out there. There's a lot of things that can go wrong and stuff. So I kind of want to talk about a little bit about when it comes to concealed carry. I'll be coming to another video talking about concealed carry, getting into depths of more things and everything. But for ones that's just coming in and stuff, this is some of the stuff that you got to look at, people. It's not an open and shut case. It's more to the concealed carry and open carry thing. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.